Out there, folks, as you can see, pouring down rain in Tuscaloosa right now. Clouds all over the place, raindrops on the camera lens, no matter where we look. The latest on the tornado watch is this. In effect, from Pickens and Tuscaloosa and Bibb and Chilton counties on southward has been done away with further north because the air is more stable. But we certainly have plenty of water to talk about. Flash flood warnings, Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, Shelby, Talladega, northern Bibb County. All through that area, there's been many reports of flooding. It doesn't last very long necessarily, but nonetheless, be careful if you're going to be out there tonight because I think there'll be a lot of standing water on the roadways, especially for the next couple of hours. And here's why. The leading line here is now over eastern Tuscaloosa County, already having passed through the city of Tuscaloosa. Good news there. No strong wind gusts with that. Let's hope that continues to be the case, but that's going to march right right through metropolitan Birmingham here over the next hour or so. Once that comes through, the intensity of the rain will become less. It won't go away, but it won't be raining as hard. For now, it is pouring down rain, as you can see. Western Shelby County in the Bibb, up into western Jefferson County, also around Tuscaloosa. That's now on top of Brookwood. When we started this newscast, it was not over the city of Tuscaloosa yet. Everything is moving extremely rapidly today. Mickey Swerwick Road is wet. Sugar Ridge Road as well. Just plenty of rain there, as well as 25th Avenue near the city of Tuscaloosa. Further east we go. Vestavia getting a lot of rain. Oxmoor Road very wet. Also raining through Akahaba Heights and some of that rain quite heavy. Adrian, it is a mess outside. Yeah, we still have several hours to go, Jerry. Very heavy rainfall will continue. Obviously, that flash flooding threat continues to be a major issue. In addition to the threat for those damaging wind gusts, still it looks like the greatest threat for damaging wind gusts and severe weather will be across our southern tier counties, basically along and mainly south of I-20. You can see the greatest threat is actually back here to the southwest. The area is shaded in red. The greatest threat for severe weather is going to be from straight line winds, damaging winds, in excess of 60 miles an hour. Here's our high resolution forecast model showing by 6 p.m. The core of the storms moving past the Birmingham Metro. Still though, a lot of light to moderate rain will fall back behind this main line. We'll move into East Alabama around 7 p.m. Notice what happens by 8 this evening. The heaviest of the rain, it's pushing off to the east and we're starting to see clearing conditions. We'll continue with leftover light to moderate rain for a time through the evening hours, but obviously quieting down from west to east as we go through the nighttime hours. By 9 p.m., most of us beginning to dry out. We'll stay dry through to the rest of the night and heading into tomorrow. Much improved weather conditions, it looks like, as we push through our Wednesday and really for the rest of the week and heading into the upcoming weekend. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Showers early tomorrow morning. Those come to an end, dry, less humid, nice weather through Saturday, maybe an increase in clouds and an increase in rain chances as we push toward the second half of the upcoming week.